here to see with their own eyes, I would suggest the greatest infringement of civil liberties in modern Alberta history, they should be down here seeing what I see with their own eyes, the increasing fortification of a church. Yeah. And what the, why they're doing this is because Sunday's coming and people are going to worship. They're fortifying this property because people might worship, which is exactly what they do in China. Yeah. So where are our MPs, our conservative MPs who spoke out against Justin Trudeau because he was apprehensive of declaring what's happening to the Uyghurs a genocide? Where are you when something similar is happening to a Christian church here? Where are you? I know you guys watch. Where are you? I don't care about your Facebook post. Get down here and look at this with your own eyes. Yeah. Uh, Justin, can you call up that Facebook video that that one MLA did yesterday? Uh, I suppose the lowest of the low. I mean, remember Dante's Inferno. He had different levels of hell, right? And it, it surprised me to learn that the lowest level of hell was not hot. In fact, it was cold. You know? um, uh, that uh, souls were packed in straw on ice. Did you know that? Um, and and I want to get this right because. Uh, Frozen, yeah, in Dante's Inferno, Satan is portrayed as a giant demon, frozen mid-breast in ice. At the center of hell, as Satan beats his wings, he creates a cold wind. Um, but who is in that lowest level of hell? And I'm trying to get this right. I think, it, it, is it for traitors or those who are quiet in times of moral crisis? No, you don't know? Um, I just want to say this because you, you might be surprised at who is regarded as the worst sinner. Here it is. Treachery. Mm. Treacheries in these souls were denials of love, of all human warmth. Only the remorseless dead center of the ice will serve to express their natures. As they denied God's love, so are they furthest removed from the light and warmth of the sun. As they denied all human ties, so are they bound only by the unyielding ice. The final deepest level of hell is reserved for traitors, betrayers, and oath breakers. Its most famous inmate is Judas Iscariot. I'm not going to spend too much time on Dante's Inferno. I'm not educated enough to speak on it with confidence but it's interesting to think of the different ways of sinning and those who are silent in a time of moral crisis i'm not going to look through it now there's a level of hell for them and i mention that because you have these conservative mlas who claim they're conservative you have these christian mlas who claim they're christian and yet they are silent as a block of ice in hell as this happens down the road from the legislature. I know where that church is. I've been there a month ago myself. It is not far outside the city. It's maybe a 20 minute drive to the legislature. Yep. And these MLAs sit in that legislature and they know this is happening. And they say not a goddamn thing. Do you have that one MLA, Justin? So here's, I'm gonna play a little bit of this. This is about two minutes long, Sheila. Uh, this is, the only MLA I know of who has spoken out, but at, let me just say in advance, he's recording this at the legislature, not at the church. Why, Coward? He expresses his discomfort with it. Thank you, but what are you going to do about it, Coward? And he ends by basically saying, all right, I made my Facebook post. Can you stop bugging me now? I, I'm a slack to this. I made a post. Click like on it. Give me some internet clout. But now I'm going to go back into hiding. I'm not going to raise this in the legislature. I'm not going to raise this with the premier. I'm not going to raise this with the health minister. I'm not going to raise this with the justice minister. I'm not going to raise this with Alberta Health Services. I'm not going to raise this with the RCMP because I'm actually a goddamned coward. I claim to be a Christian, but like my allies in the Ninth Circle of Hell, I'm actually a traitor to my cause, but I will give you a placebo by recording a little Facebook video so you can say I'm an outstanding Christian as I'm part of the government that presides over this. Any Christian of character 
would be down there with you, Sheila, and he would be doing more than cutting self-serving Facebook videos. He might even, for example, take it up to the premium. He might raise it in question period, he might raise it in committee, he might raise it on the order paper in some manner, he might put forward an emergency motion to debate it, he might have a private member's motion. He might actually resign on principle, but instead, let me show you the ninth level of hell cowardice of a so-called Christian in Jason Kenney's cabinet. Wait, you caucus, take a look at this. I woke up this morning and saw the same thing everyone else did that a church outside Edmonton has been barricaded by AHS. Now, I think in a free and democratic society, worship is fundamental freedom that we must maintain. I believe that as Canadians, as Albertans, it is so intrinsic to who we are, whether you're a believer or not, the ability to choose for yourself who you worship, how you worship, and where you worship. Now, I respect and understand the 15% capacity limit. I'm frustrated by it. I brought it up in the legislature multiple times that we should be lifting these numbers. But that said, it is a different line to cross, to barricade a church, a place of God. Now, I'm not speaking here as a politician. I'm speaking as an Albertan and as a Christian. And I believe that right now, fundamentally, we need to take a stand. We need to say something. And here I am making the case that we cannot allow churches to be barricaded in our society. If you agree with this, I'm asking you to share this video. I'm asking you to please let others know that we cannot stand by and let churches and places of worship be treated in this manner by AHS or any other government body. That's just my opinion. Thank you. So what was his call to action? Share my video, because I'm pretty cool, right? I'm a Christian, take my word for it. And what was his plan of action? We cannot stand by, he says. But in fact, he's, well, if only he would stand by and actually stand with the church, but he's at the legislature, that's more his kind of place these days. That MLA's name is Dan Williams. And his grand contribution to this is to say, hey guys, um, I really don't like it, we can't stand by, and that's my contribution. I actually am going to stand by, I won't even stand with them. I'm done. I did my Facebook video. What, you expect me to have the courage to actually do something? <laughs> I'm, I told you I was Christian, right? Isn't that enough? I'm putting my political career with Jason Kenney's party above my principles. Get to the ninth level, you cowardice traitor. Cowardly traitor. Hey guys, I'm a Christian. You know how I, you know that? Because I just did a Facebook video telling you that. Hey guys, I'm totally against this church occupation. You know how you know that? Because I'm part of the government that's doing it. But I made a video, okay guys? I'm not going to quit the party. I'm not going to go and stand with them. I'm not going to escort people into the church or even stand outside of it. I'm not going to do anything that would jeopardize my pension. I'm not going to do anything that would jeopardize my chances of re-election. But I'm going to make a Facebook video because that's the kind of Christian I am. Get to the ninth level and bring your own ice and straw, you cowardly fake Christian. Ezra, I would take, a, I don't know, a more Christian approach, I guess. Maybe it's because I've spent a lot of time down here at Grace Life. But I would encourage people um, to email and phone and call Dan Williams' office. And tell them, look, I saw your Facebook video, but I missed the or else part. And you're telling me you're a Christian? And you're telling me you're against this? And I want you to show me. So please go to the church and show us your opposition to this. I think we saw a little bit of moral courage. Uh, I don't think you're optimistic, Ezra, but I am. I think we saw something that we haven't seen from any other MLAs. And I think uh, it's the job of the public after seeing that to continue to push Dan Williams in the right direction, to be down here at the church, to make a stand, to call for an investigation, an independent uh, investigation into the decision making that led to what happened, what happened here and what continues to happen. If he's the only guy speaking out, let's get him speaking out. I want to see what he's able to do um, because a Facebook video is not enough, as you rightly point out. So. Uh, what else? What else, Dan Williams? Show us what you're going to do next. That's what I want to see. 
Um, that for me, that's encouraging. He's the only person who said anything. Um, but I want to see more. And um, I think it's the onus is on the public, all the public, his constituents, anybody who's completely outraged by what they're seeing here. Sounds like Dan Williams doesn't like. With his son, and they denied all human ties, so are they bound only by the unyielding ice, the final deepest level of hell. It's reserved for traitors, betrayers, and oath breakers. Its most famous inmate is Judas Iscariot. Yeah. I'm not going to spend too much time on Dante's Inferno.